All right, moving on, Josh. So I talked about a song that I was kind of a pocket pick, but this song is even more of a pocket pick. Uh, this song is Hobby featuring Crush with Let's Play House. <laughs> Because we do research on this mm-hmm. bitch. Um, Hobby is a project group with Choiza from Dynamic Duo and jo- one of Josh's favorite producers, Primary. All right. And holy mother of God, this is fucking Primary. <laughs> so fucking Primary. So yeah. Primary is very uh, distinctive in his use of kind of like a synth keyboard. And he really likes kind of funk stylings. Yeah. And this song is very funk. It's got synth keyboards, exactly like I would say every yeah. primary song has. And with the addition of Crush, it gets really, really kind of that style. Because, you know, Crush, Primary, Zion T, they kind of have a certain flavor to them. Mm-hmm. And in this song, it definitely really, really comes out. And for me, the, the part I think is the best is Crush's part. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the choice of part... I'm I'm not really a huge fan of Dynamic Duo, actually. I like them in featurings on a lot of songs. I do like a few of their songs, but I'm definitely not a fan. Um, and and Choiza hasn't been doing much, right? No, like, except for, you know... Except for Bang and Sully. I was going to say exactly yeah, same thing, but I don't know if I want to say that. I'm but yeah, he's been Bang and Sully. Um, um, he lost all weight, though. Yeah. yeah. He looks good. Um, it's usually the other dude, right, that's mm-hmm. doing more and more and Gecko, more. Yeah. Gecko, um, But actually, you know, before we knew it was primary... You know, you were very instantly like, yo, this is primary. This has got to be primary. Yeah, like, it, it is so, so primary. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. See, I you say the best part is crush, but I think the best part is primary. Like, oh, I, yeah, I, yeah. I actually don't. Besides think, the backing track. I just don't yeah. think crush's part was anything special. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I don't think choice's part was anything special. I think the only thing that makes this remotely interesting is primary's part. Mm. And even then. Still not your cup of tea. I, you know, I'm not it. Like, I love certain primary songs, yeah. but I think that, you know, backing track in itself just can't hold down the entire song, mm-hmm. right? You're right. Um, it, it needs a good chorus, and I think even there's not a super great chorus on this song. Yeah. Um, there, there, there are definitely things that are very lacking, and for that, I think this song is kind of like a six, six and a half, um, mainly because I really like primarily a lot, and yeah. the backing track kind of pushes it up to a six for me it's definitely unique because i mean yeah. I, I really think only primary makes uh tracks like this yeah um, so it, it's really cool it's, it's very interesting though that he would hook up with choiza yeah um but in a music video mm-hmm. speaking of drugs right yeah um whoever storyboarded this was was an interesting fella uh, yeah, definitely played a lot of Hotline Miami, yeah. which is a game. I, you, maybe you don't know this game, but it's a game where you kill a lot of people because you're high on drugs. Yeah. And all the bad guys, well, not all the bad guys, but the main bad guys in the, in the game wear, like, animal heads. Yeah. Like, not real animal heads, but... It's like masks. Yeah, Like, masks. animal heads, yeah. Um, so everybody's that's not Choiza and this random dude that we don't know who yeah. the fuck he is. I initially thought it was Crush, but then we took a further look, and it could... Also, not be Crush. I don't think it's Crush. I, I don't know, man. But there's a guy who sits next to Choiza in the song and yeah. is also in the other hobby song, which is called Dollar. Yeah. Um, and I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. I yeah. want to know who that is. Like, so we had some guesses. For me, I thought it was Crush because obviously Crush is featured in this song. But the other video, Dollar, yes. uh, 
Crush is not in that song. Crush is not in that song, but this dude really looks like the dude in that music video. Yes. And we thought, oh, maybe it's Primary. Yeah, maybe that's what Primary looks like. Because we only know Primary is that box head. Yeah. And we looked up Primary's real face. Doesn't look like this Doesn't dude. Doesn't look like this dude. Who is this dude? Who is this dude? Who is this guy? If you guys know, please let us know. Because, yeah. you know, we've been doing our research, our due diligence, but we still can't figure out who it is. Yeah. Like, I, part of me thinks that it could be, like, Hobby is actually three people. Maybe. And maybe it's primary choice and this third guy but nobody knows him so they just say choice and primary. Yeah. but what would he do right like, yeah or maybe he's just a friend and he's just like you know his entourage. Music videos. yeah put me in both music videos um that's for uh, fun anyway so everyone's wearing animal heads it's kind of strange so um, animal head house party yeah and the whole song is about straight bucket it's about getting a girl to your place being sneaky deaky, you know, you want to come up for a cup of coffee, you want to eat some ramen with me, you know. He's got lines like, oh, I've got a sofa bed, if, you, if you're if you tired, you can just sleep and crash in my place. You know, I've got extra toothbrushes and really comfy clothes, you don't got to worry about a thing, girl. Creepy. Creepy ass. Creepy. Is that how you got Sully? Is that how you got Sully? It's so Sully? weird to me that, like, he has a girlfriend, right? This there was big news. He has this girlfriend, but yeah, he still writes a song about really luring songs. luring girls back into your home to fucking like. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I was taking notes. And I was like, okay, sofa bed, but I must buy sofa bed. I, I don't Extra think it's the precious. tactic. I think it's if you're sexy, you can do whatever the hell you want. But he's not sexy. He's like forty years old. He's old. I don't know if he's that old, but he looks really old in this. Yeah, he looks really old. He doesn't look as old in the dollar song, but. Yeah. I think it's the glasses and the weird outfit that he's wearing. And the haircut doesn't help either. Yeah. 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 But he got Sully, so what we gonna do? What you gonna do? Choiza, by the way, Korean slang, right? Yeah, it means big dick. It means big dick. Yeah. So you got a big dick. You Maybe can you say whatever you want. Right? 